Hey there guys, how's it going? Uh, this is Chris from Hawking Land Self Team. Uh, just giving you guys a quick video update from myself. Uh, this is just going to be um, what I'm planning on doing this year for 2018 and a quick look at my current plate carrier loadout. It's a little different compared to when you last saw it, so I'll just very quickly go over that for you. Um, Nomad's briefly covered this in a previous video. Um, it's difficult for some of us to go out and play airsoft um, with, and balance our personal lives at the same time. I find that especially difficult. I work full time in a hotel, so for me it's difficult to finish work at say 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning and then get up and go to an airsoft game. Um, but fingers crossed this year for 2018, I plan on being a lot more active for the channel. I'm hoping to go out and play a few more games than I did last year and try and capture some more footage to put on the channel. I know we've got a few games lined up for the next couple of months, so we'll keep you guys updated as to when and where we're going to be going. Um, also, Airsoft International is going to be announced very soon, hopefully, and fingers crossed we're going to try and get on that. If not, we've still got plenty of things lined up for 2018. So, with all that being said, we will now very quickly go over my current setup on my plate carrier. So yeah, as you can see, I'm still using the same plate carrier as I did before. Uh, this is my Emerson Gear LBT imitation 6094A plate carrier. Still a great plate carrier. Uh, I'm not intending on replacing this anytime soon. Um, however, recently I have made a few alterations to it in terms of like adding and taking away pouches. Um, so we'll start from the front and we'll work our way back as well as giving you a quick update on the gun as well. So from the front I've got my Viper triple open top uh, M4 pouch. Uh, I find these things a lot more useful compared to like the normal mag pouches you see. Because uh, with a bunch of retention as well these things just stay in place as opposed to if it's open could potentially fall out which I was um, doing not too long ago. So when I threw this on, definitely helps out a lot more. It keeps them nice and secure in the rig. And uh, these things aren't falling out anytime soon, which are a lot, help, a lot more helpful. And as well, I've got a uh, D-ring here for my hydration tube. Very much better, personally, than having it on the Velcro where you've got to take it off with this. Literally, all you've got to do is just pull this back. And tube's out. And to put it back in, just as simple, just slide it in. Not a problem. And of course, still got my push to torque on the side here as well as the hydration pouch on the back. Uh, anything I've really done is I have added a utility pouch onto the side uh, that just houses my medical kit and a bit of electrical tape. And that is also used for carrying grenades as well. These fit Anola Gay smokes and thunder flashes very well and very securely in the zip. Uh, on the side, um, I've moved my psychic pouch onto the left side so it's not interfering with anything now. Um, I just house all my tools in here, so I've got my torch, pen, uh, multi tool, just in case anything needs to be fixed on the fly. Uh, very helpful uh, to have that there now as well. And also, I have put a radio pouch on the back as well. Originally, I used to house the radio in the cummerbund on the side of the, of the vest, um, but I found it was tangling the wire and it was getting caught and stuff, and so I just threw a pou the radio pouch on there, feed the wire through the shoulder straps, and it works even better now. So that's definitely helped out a lot. And of course, the rifle is still the same. Still my new Prol M4. Um, I just put the holographic sight on there just for aesthetic looks for now. Still planning on getting my Mark 18 fixed, but I'm also looking at uh, getting a new gun as well. Might follow Snowball's footsteps and get myself a Bolt uh, M4 because um, I've been told they are absolutely cracking airsoft guns. So guys, that pretty much wraps it up for me. Um, if you did like the video, do make sure you leave a like. And as well, leave a comment as well if you um, have any ideas for future videos. We always read the comments and we always want to find out what you guys want to see from us. So, uh, have a good day guys and I will see you in the next video. Yo guys, this is Nomad and uh, we apologise for not being able to get any uh, gameplay out for you today. Uh, Jake did record when he went to Tech House, however there was some issues with the camera. Uh, we will be looking at heading to Skirmish this weekend if we are all able to attend. Um, we'll keep you guys updated and we hope you enjoyed this video.